Οκ. Έτοιμοι. με λίγο καθαρά πάνω μαγνήτης και το μισήλα Αφρικανικό, το μπράτσο και αυτό μαόνι με fretboard rosewood. Α, πω μάλλον, πρέπει να κάνω σε αγγλικά. Οκ, οκ, full body, two pieces mahogany, EMG 6081, 6081, yes, uh, the full set, uh, rosewood, uh, mahogany. Now I got this, uh, I can't remember what kind of wood uh, are these uh, veneers. Uh, they have only ornamental uh, purpose. Uh, over here too. 
Okay. So I got co uh, color. Is it color? Oh, Cluson. Cluson. Uh, tuning pegs. Uh, gra uh, Graftek. Uh, nut. Uh, as you can see, the neck. Uh, I didn't make it. Of course, I didn't make it. It's a bolt on uh, uh, bought from eBay. But uh, I've worked on the frets. Uh, Rosewood. The. Oh, come on. I level them, pulse them, you know, the, the drill, how it goes. I also use this thing from, uh, uh, come on, a Floyd Rose that I had uh, hanging. Uh, and now I gave it a cool angle here. So I got no uh, buzzing. Um, everything's cool. Uh, what else? Ah, I made the, the rings uh, from this the same veneer. Veneer. I also made the jack uh, plate thingy here. Also, I even made this one too from the same veneer. Okay, it's uh, an aluminum uh, magnet that holds it in place. Uh, I also used some Velcro, uh, uh, screwed on the side of the cavity, on the sides of the cavity. What, what else? What else? Come on, come on. Ah. Um, Oh my god, what else? Ah, the finish. The finish is teak oil. A matte finish. And then I use some overlay wax for uh, for furniture. Uh, it gave me a problem with some, I don't know, white spots in the, uh, in the pores of the grain, the pores of the wood. Some places are not that beautiful but the rest of it I mean here the sign uh, it's not glossy finish it's a uh, matte finished uh, also the neck is protected and I also sanded it with a 500 grit in order to have it uh, slidey uh, it's a matte finish I tried to gloss out the rest of uh, the guitar the body and the headstock I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't because it's not that glossed out. Come on, you can't uh, achieve a high gloss with a uh, teak oil, or, or it was I can't. It was my first time using teak oil, but I'm totally happy with the whole uh, project. I now have a full mahogany uh, neck and body uh, explorer. It started as a tribute to James Hetfield's uh, Kenny Lawrence uh, guitar. Uh, it looks like it. It's not. Because there are huge differences. I mean, here, the Ken Lawrence Explorer starts from here. It, it's aligned with this uh, uh, spot here. But mine starts uh, further. Uh, because I made the template for an Explorer out of my, out of my Jackson Kelly. Uh, also, it should have been larger here having more space, more wood. Uh, the resonance is... It's okay, I can't feel it. I can feel it vibrating. It seems to be alive. Yeah. Ah, I have used uh, Ernie Ball Slinky Tense here. Mm, I don't know why. Uh, I uh, most of the time use Nines. Uh, I'm it's a first impression. I just finished it. I just finished intonating it, finished uh, string it. The action is slightly high for my preference, but come on, I'm not shredder. I can't play solos. I mean, I don't know this stuff. Ah, the thing with the inlays here, it makes it so hard to find your way through the fretboard. I mean, if it weren't for uh, the dots here, the fret dots, showing me where I am, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I would be lost, I mean, fuck, this is the 12th, I know that, but is this the 10th, is this the 14th, is this the 15th, I mean, I got nothing, I have to get used to it, uh, I, nevertheless, I'm very excited with it, uh, also I use some Goto uh, string buttons, uh, strap buttons, I mean, I have it as low as I can, I have some some neck dive, but not much, because I have it here. I should have had it here, 
or here. Uh, but come on, let's. Uh, I'll see how it goes, and maybe I'll move it here, from here to here. I'll see. So, see you guys next time with the next project. Coming up some uh, less Paul type uh, guitar. Uh, we'll see. Thank mm -hmm. you.